Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to talk about something very important. But before I do that. I want to say again. Sorry for the long absence between videos. I was busy taking care of a few things. But I'm back. And I've been reading the comments. And for all those that have said thank you. Or how this video or that video helped you through a hard time. I will say right back to you. Thank you. Your comments motivate me to not only do this work that I've been doing for some time now. But to become a better person. And to keep on trying in all areas of my life. One is the healing and understanding of the narcissistic abuse I was raised under and have dealt with in many of my adult relationships. I truly see the sharing. And the help many have shown here as iron sharpening iron. So. To those of you with your kind words and your thank yous. I'm saying a big thank you to you as well. I really do mean it from the bottom of my cartoon heart. And for the one or two that said I can't listen to this robot voice. I say thank you for watching the little bit of time you did. And maybe the voice will change in the future. But for now. This is the voice I have. So if you can't watch or listen. I completely understand. No hard feelings. Now on to the topic at hand. Many of you might have noticed. Throughout my several years here on YouTube. I will make videos where I talk about narcissism in a general sense. And at times I talk about things that have to do with biblical references. And also at times where it has to do with men-women relationships. And this is one of those videos that has to do with men and women relationships. And I think you will find in this video. And in all others that have to do with men and women. It most often times circles back around to narcissistic abuse. And lessons both men and women can learn. So put on your thinking caps. Because we can't afford to not think rationally and soundly in the crazy times we are living in. You see about a week ago. On Ka Beard Bajabai Amila's channel. A nice man who is a Hall of Famer for the Green Bay Packers. Who is going through a heck of a time with a divorce. All because he wanted to get away from teachings at a church he was going to that he felt wasn't biblical. And he wanted to think for himself and read the Bible for what it is. And follow those teachings instead of what was being taught at his church. Now there's a lot going on there. And you can get more information about Kabir's story on his channel. But through his channel, I was able to watch something on divorce and marriage in our society. And I suggest you all watch it, and you might still be able to find it through Kabir's channel. And let me tell you what. Both men and women alike if you see this video which is about an hour and 30 minutes. It will make you angry. Literally angry. To the very bottom of your being. Basically you get to see how corrupt these judges lawyers and court appointed counselors are i mean this was the best and i do mean best video i've watched on this subject and it clearly shows how all of this is done completely on purpose to rob you and everyone else out there of your hard-earned money there was also something in the video where they talked about you needing to declare how much money and assets you have to your lawyer and the lawyer is doing this and they admit that it's all to see what you have so they know what they can take from you. They talk about how they drag along these processes so it literally robs families on purpose of all the money they have and then some. And though most women file for divorce as I've talked about on my channel before. Like 70 to 80 percent of divorces are issued by women. However. Like I've told you good women on my channel. That well-meaning good women that end up in relationships with narcissist men. When the system takes you for a ride. It literally has no pity and it will grind you just as hard as it grinds a lot of the men out there. And you will see in this video. Women taken away in handcuffs because they can't pay the aggressive fees such as alimony and the like that men are often unable to pay. Now why is this important? It's important because you get to see how sick these demons are. And how they get off on the fact they are ruining lives. There was one guy that was a court counselor that asked questions to one of the parents to see if they were fit to be a parent or not. 
and after asking some non-helpful questions. He asked the woman he was questioning for the $7,000 payment. Yes. You heard me right. The man took this woman's money and ran down to cash the check as quick as he could. And after doing some digging as the so-called counselor was trying to railroad her. This guy was found online talking about drugs. Parties. And some very alternative stuff is all I can say about it. Now think about this. This is someone that has the liberty to say whether you are a good mother or father. And you find when it becomes known these counselors or the judges or the lawyers have been found to be grossly wrong in their behavior or handling of a case. The people that are reviewing these complaints are their friends. And then whoever made such complaint loses their children. Or worse. They are sent to jail. There was a man that was sent to jail for putting something on his Facebook wall regarding not being treated fairly in his case. And he was ordered to take it down and apologize. Or go to jail. And guess who's caught in the middle? That's right. The children. And I'm sorry for jumping around here. But you have this move to just believe her. No matter what if any woman makes an accusation of an assault. And trust me. This all ties in. As we just had a little boy scared out of his mind. Because when he was leaving a store with his mother. His backpack brushed against the backside of this lady at the counter. Which she threatened to call the police on this young boy for so called assaulting her. And when the video camera showed it was his backpack. She then apologized but wanted to have the boy's mother charged for threatening her. Look people. They've got people coming and going with this marriage divorce thing. And have utterly destroyed relationships between men and women. But to put the final nail in the coffin. They want to make men so afraid of women they will be terrified to talk to you ladies. And they are doing it. Look my mother used an old trick that many lawyers are aware of when fighting for my golden child brother and I. And that was my father touched my brother. Well he never did. But that's what my mother said. She didn't use me as an example as she couldn't count on me sticking with her story. And out of nowhere my father stopped fighting. Now as an adult I know why. My father's lawyer was his friend. And didn't want him to drag things out for a long time. And told my father it was better to cut his losses. Which he did. But my father shortly after died of a heart attack. Which I believe the stress of fighting for us in court and the loss of his children caused his death. I just watched a young man have his school life ruined because a woman that accused him of assault admitted it was a lie. Because she didn't want another boy she was interested in to look down on her for being with this other guy. And luckily she was sentenced to prison. As rarely that happens. But it was only for a year. So why am I telling you all of this? I'm telling you this ladies and gentlemen. You have to fight for a change. You must. Because the women that are the true victims are going to get sadly. And I do mean sadly lost in the shuffle with the false allegations. And men are going to continue to wisely walk away due to fear. Also. Those that are out there trying their best to have a family life. The court system is going to more than likely get a hold of them and destroy every fabric of goodness in their home. And please go and watch that video on divorce. You will see how these demons literally get off on harming families. But guess what? They can't harm families if there's no marriage license to begin with. Because as we've talked about. The marriage license isn't biblical. And when you see this video. You will see why. And how satanic and evil everything about this marriage and divorce system really is. The other thing to do is petition your state to take a second look at divorce for those that are stuck in these marriages. Along with child custody. Because the entire system is corrupt from top to bottom. I mean when you see this video. It will make you ill. So ill you will want to work hard for a change. Because even though you're not going to run out and get a marriage license tomorrow doesn't mean there aren't people including children right now at this moment going through literal hell on earth 
and I'm sick and tired of watching children used as money and tools in these divorces. I believe that if things were done more fair, the narcissist would have little to no gain for getting married in the biblical sense or any other sense for that matter. And or having children. These jokers would shrink so fast from life and from these types of dealings it's not even funny. That along with stopping these false allegations. It's getting to the point a child is getting threatened by an adult with this mess. But let me ask. Whatever happened to Emmett Till? A young child many years ago that was said to had whistled at a woman. A white woman. As young Emmett Till was only 14 and black in a racially charged time and part of the country. Well guess what happened on the word of this demon. He was tortured and killed in the worst kind of way to where he was unrecognizable. And his mother kept the casket open so people could see what was done to her son. Now just recently of maybe a couple of years ago. The demon that said young Emmett whistled at her. Or looked at her or came onto her. Or whatever lies she had to say. Admitted that it was all indeed one big fat lie. And guess what this demon is still living and hasn't served one day in jail. Not one. Not one single day in jail. Now what I'm going to say is very important. So listen up. The groups that are pushing this believe her without evidence thing. Is doing so so they can set a precedent. You have to get into their mind for a moment and think like they think. They look at this thing like war. If they can get society to sign off on throwing away how we normally do things. And just believe. Even though there's no proof. Then they can do it again and again and again. And then they can take down anyone and anything they want. So then you look at young Emmett Till. If justice is important. Why not go after justice for him? Because it highlights something they don't want and they don't need for their cause. And that's a woman's lie caused the death of an innocent young child. A child. A child was not only killed. He was tortured. Tortured to the point he was unrecognizable. These are things that need to be burned in your mind. And when I heard of that young child that was falsely accused. I thought of young Emmett Till. What if there was no cameras showing his innocence? Should we have just believed her? What about the numerous men that have spent 20 plus years in prison? Only to get out. To have their accuser say it was a lie. Look. Diseases came out. Yet you still couldn't keep men and women from each other. But with this one. With this one. They have men terrified. To even look at a woman. And this all boils down to narcissism. And narcissistic abuse. Every last one of these so-called people that are doing this from the divorce courts. All the way down to false allegations. Is no better than the narcissistic parents that raised us. And they are trying to create a division of scapegoats and golden children. Also they can get a lifelong amount of narcissistic supply and control. It's that simple. It's that simple. So please. Please. Watch the video I'm talking about. You should be able to still find it on Kabir's channel. I would like to know your thoughts on this once you're done watching. Because this evil system must be addressed. It's a problem. It's a problem indeed. And I would like to hear what you have to say. Also. If you are able to find it on Kabir's channel. Tell him. James. Be good 4000 sent you. With that said. That's all I have for now. More to come on all subjects. Some regular videos on narcissism. Some like this. Which at the end of the day. Is still about narcissism. I think you get my point. I hope everyone had a blessed day. I thank all of you for subscribing and those that are supporting via Patreon. I thank you I thank you. With that said. Let's continue to pray for wisdom. Let's continue to pray for strength. And let's continue to pray for courage. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.